One of the perks of Linux is that both the operating system and the vast majority of apps are free. Yet if you try to buy a PC that comes with Linux, you might end up spending more than buying one with Windows. Why spend that extra money when you can install Linux on an existing computer for free? I know it seems counterintuitive, but when the time comes to buy a new computer, I almost exclusively buy Linux PCs. I'll explain. Linux is guaranteed to work on these PCs. I've used Linux on and off since 2008. For all of that time, Linux has been easy to install. But on some machines, especially newer machines, you run into hiccups after the installation is done. You log in into your new machine only to find that you are un unable to connect to Wi-Fi or your speakers don't work. Maybe you are getting poor frame rates from your graphics card or your computer fails to wake up after you pull in out of your bag. There can be any number of issues that arise from installing an operating system onto a machine that wasn't built for it. This isn't a flaw exclusive to Linux. If you try to install Windows onto a Steam Deck, you face the same kind of issues. That machine was designed for Linux and comes with a rock-solid Linux desktop. Most laptops are tested with Windows. When you try to swap out a computer's operating system, regardless of which one it is, you roll the dice. The same is true when you install a custom ROM on your phone. To save myself the headache of knowing whether everything will work, I like to buy computers that ship with the Linux. This way I know they've been tested and verified to run the operating system I intend to use. I don't have to do any research to learn which processor, Wi-Fi card and graphic card will work best for the kind of machine I have in mind. I can just browse the available PCs and uh, pick one. You don't need technical knowledge. The trickiest part of installing Linux is learning how to create a portable USB stick and selecting it during your PC's boot process. After that, installation isn't that different from installing PC software in general. If what I just said makes sense to you, you probably have enough computer savvy to do a few web search, find a guide, and work it out. Yet for you that may uh, instead be a non-starter, you are not alone. Most people have fall into this category. You didn't have to install Windows, Mac OS, or Chrome OS, so trying to install an operating system yourself can seem intimidating. Yet that doesn't mean you can't use Linux. At this point, Linux, once installed, is as easy to figure out as all the others. Often, it's easier. Linux doesn't come with ads in the App Launcher or Pub App Windows trying to sell you things. There isn't blood where the manufacturer shipped just to make money. Having Linux PCs available for purchase expands who is able, able to use Linux. Yes, these laptops tend to be priced out of the mainstream due to the laws of scale, but at least the option is there. No need to configure your own system. Many Linux users will tell you the best thing about Linux's choice. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of different versions of Linux. Two Linux computers sitting side by side can run entirely different desktop interface and a fundamentally different suite of apps. Before you even install Linux, you have to first decide which version you want. That alone can lead to analysis, paralysis, and put people off. There's a whole set of Linux terminology to learn. Buying a Linux PC skips this process. You get a computer that's already up and running, where someone else made the decisions you, so you don't have to. Folks like me already know which version of Linux we want. 
but we can still benefit from getting a pre-made machine. Many of us can't afford to reconfigure a machine during work hours, and we don't have the energy or the desire to do it during the rest of our day. We have families. We have other things we want to be doing. With a ready-made machine, we can sign in, install apps, transfer over our files, and be ready for work in the morning. Have a company to contact for hardware support. When you install Linux yourself, the internet is often your first and only line of support. When anything goes wrong, it's on you to scour the web for articles, forum postings, wikis, or YouTube videos that can help. This can be a great learning experience, but it can also be a time suck. There is also no guarantee that you'll find a fix. When you buy your computer from a company that prides itself on assembling and selling Linux hardware, you can usually go back to them for support. Sometimes that's a leave a chat bubble or an email address. You may even be able to pick up a phone if, if they can't fix your issue directly. Sometimes they can at least point you in the right direction. Avoid giving big tech even more money. Few tech giants actually need your money. Apple, Google, and Microsoft have all been taken to count for monopolistic practices. Dell, HP, Lenovo, and Samsung are all massive corporate entities. In the tech world, it's not often you get to shop small or buy local for your primary computer. Many Linux PC makers are small shops. They hire a handful of employees or maybe grow, grow large enough to employ a couple hundred people. They often ship internationally but are scattered in various places around the world. There may be one not that far from you. Sometimes you buy a Linux PC to save yourself the headache of installing things yourself. Sometimes you buy one out of the goodness of your heart. Sometimes you buy one because, like with the Steam Deck, the device is just that good.